Super fun time, go! Yep, it's time to go fight the Crimson Head's grandpa. The Elder Crimson Head. In before I have not the, the right set of items. Do you mean the, um... Ah, we're fine. That the, will do, pig. The magenta noggin. We're actually carrying too much stuff. <laughs> too many health items, I mean. We're yeah. gonna lose a key. Oh, I, I, we're gonna lose a key. I was talking about too many health items. We got, what, mixed herbs and first aid spray? I don't like, you know, what kind taking of, chances. What kind of intense battle are you planning? A very intense one. Sometimes he tanks those shots, though. Well, here's the thing you have to do. When he's charging at you, move. He'll do one big swipe, and you shoot him in the recoil of that big swipe. Mm. You know, if you shoot him while he's trying... No, don't press that one on this side. The other two are on the other side, remember? You have to kill it. You have to kill it. Why? You'll see. You will see. Uh, the, my very first playthrough of this, I did a little fiddle, a little fiddling around with this puzzle because I pressed all the buttons like through. <laughs> I just kind of, you know, solved it. I just do things, Jalen. I don't go like, oh, look. If I look at this picture, I see that these <laughs> things are different colors. But if I press the porches, they change colors. Maybe I should match the colors with the colors I see there. And we're like, oh, look, and press these pictures. I better press them. Why are you such a rube? It's a slow problem solving method. If I do things, things will happen. But this is the last of the masks that die. Yep. We, we have now seen, heard, tasted, and smelled evil. See? They're gone. Alright. And I'm pretty sure this was done in, uh, so you don't go to this battle injured at all. Which is nice of Cap, huh? You might want to load it up your shotgun. Yeah. Rick's here. <laughs> Rick misses the basement theme. Yo! From Resident Evil <laughs> Director's Kite. <laughs> it was so stupid, they didn't bring it back. Ah, uh, it's so much faster. It really is. Alright, first one is the one with no eyes. No. Yeah. Blomp. The second one is the one that's missing everything. Yeah. Long. <laughs> Third one is the one with no moves. Man, I couldn't tell from how far away it is. It looked like it didn't have anything. Uh, no, it's just it's a nose. Long. And finally, the mouth. Let's equip our weapon first. No, it, it, it doesn't activate until you go over there. Yeah. yeah. So you, you're still at, you're but you look cool holding that weapon like that. Well, since we're in the, since we're in this playthrough for fashion, we have to look cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love how they don't allow you to get the shells first. <clears throat> no. And they lock you in here. So yep. You have to kill them. Yep. Hi. Oh, do I have? He has a beard. You could have totally shot him there. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. There, shoot him. Alright, move. Alright. Shoot him. Move. Shoot him. There you go. Hold on. I want you. Their super best technique that is 90% successful. Super happy fun time, yeah! And now we must look inside his coffin. I'm gonna do that first. And he was just like laying on top of the metal. <laughs> and a button apparently. A stone and metal object. Umbrella. <sighs> I got I gotta love the logic of this game. A button inside coffin opens door. I know, right? <laughs> but it's also a metal. What was that button attached to? <laughs> exactly. It's one of those new wireless button coffins. Dude, don't you want? Don't you have a chair to those? <laughs> that apparently doesn't activate when you lean a body against it. <laughs> Finger pressure only. <laughs> exactly. But who am I to freaking judge? <laughs> judge the way things work. I'm not a programmer. One day you will be. Nah. In the future. <laughs> I, I think my involvement in games will probably be Let's Player. 
Always a peon, never a creator. Exactly. I'm creative, but I'm not that creative. And there's a zombie here. Yep. Can I do it? Make, make, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I almost choked. It's really hard not to. Wind crest. It's like disarming a bomb. That looks like many other bombs in the mansion. Wind crest. You forgot the wind crest? Yeah. I was so you were so caught focused up. on the on route. the route. All right, it's you should be, be right there. There you go. Ah, shit. No, don't worry. Do we still got one use? Yeah, we haven't used it at all until now. All right. Thank God. It's still gravy. If that if, if it would have been the case, we would have to go the long way. We could have just went the long way. The long way, which is just <laughs> a giant rectangle. Exactly. I mean, having a nice little shortcut is better, you know? You, me, apple trees. It's all the same. <laughs> it just would have elongated the park. They love it. And by they, I mean all six. I'm sure they do. Well, this is a very niche game. You know? Not everybody likes it. Yeah. Except for I people. I want to say it's niche. It's very fucking popular. Now, if RE1 on the PS1 is popular, this is the worst selling game of the series. Because it was on GameCube. Yep. Zero. No, Zero sold better than this. Shit. <laughs> yep. And now, oh, you got a critical bite. Oh. Ah, I'm crap. We're, we're, we're done. See, aren't you glad I brought those healing items now? I am now. <laughs> Look at you in that foresight. You want to share some of that, Jalen? No. Sell it to people who need it, like Sega. A dog comes out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Put metal in place. That will open door. Clonk. Unlock. Door. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> so, interesting fact. I didn't see that depression where the stairs are right there. You did, and you just ran straight. Forward? I ran straight forward. Oh boy. To be honest, it would. It's kind of hard. We all have our screw up moments in this game. I think the thing is. The way the camera angle is placed, they expect you to go for the green herb and thus find the stairs in the process. You mean the first day spray? Yeah. Why did I say green herbs? <laughs> I don't know. Here's the battery pack. Yeah. That was completely unseeable. Yeah. Yeah, I love the camera angles. From that other angle. Anyway, I'm, I already have one of you. I'll save yeah. you for when I get back. Do you want to show them how the puzzle works or you just want to solve it? And you can only solve it by showing how it works. Well, I mean, like, you can... Just show the whole shebang or just oh, solve it? Oh, you're talking about this. I'll yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, N-S-E-W. North, south, east, west. Yes. Valley of Destruction, Glyphs of Hatred, Summit of Madness, Path of Revenge. Right. Who the hell named these? I like to think there was a guy on the team named, like, Blade or something. <laughs> and he was really edgy. <laughs> who, who are you? I'm Blade. And who's your friend over there? My name's Razor. <laughs> <laughs> and they were the one who came up with all like the hardcore puzzles. Yeah. So anyway, basically, is you gotta get the dogs to face away from each other. Yeah. Barry? I like to think Barry's just sitting there, going like, Shh, monster, <laughs> and chains. How the fuck did Barry get out here? Through the doors. <laughs> Remember, he's working with Wesker. I'm sure they got secret doors that they made all the puzzles. <laughs> They're just like laughing behind two-way mirrors, watching people solve the puzzles. This part was made for this version, right? Yes. Yeah, it is not in the other version at all. Yeah, in the blue one, we just gotta make face north. Mm -hmm. If you notice, it's the same direction for both. <laughs> yeah. And so the dogs are facing away from each other and the gate's unlocked. And now we get to go to my favorite part of the game. No, I don't really need this. Hang on. Uh, right. That's only if you're scared of birds. Birds! And, and you want to shoot wildly at birds. I wouldn't waste a shotgun shell on birds. Alright. Be very, very careful. They are easily angered. Yeah. Walk in a straight line. Or else you have to do this under high octane bird pressure. One time I messed up. <laughs> Were they just flogging you? No, only got only two packed me. <laughs> yeah, the birds are so annoying. 
They really are. Except in RA4 when they they harbor items. <laughs> this bird gave you a grenade. <laughs> nah, I, I can't be too hard on RA4. I love it. You love it so much you would probably marry if it was a woman. <laughs> you would marry Ada if Ada was real. So don't, don't you give me no sass. I'm pretty sure Ada wouldn't give me the time of day. That's never stopped you before. <laughs> it has. <laughs> Anyway, press these buttons. Anyway, two bars, crossbar, three bar. Well, it's not like you have to put them in the exact way. No, you, you know, which is a nice touch, because it would have been a little tedious. Exactly. Just going like, whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> you can just shoot them out as fast as you can click. Yeah. You gotta examine this first, though. You don't um, have to. But <laughs> oh, no, Jill. Is it a symbol? And I'm sure there's bigger meaning behind this puzzle, but you know, I just want a magnum, damn it. No, I just think it's a puzzle. I think Blade was just a fan of puzzles. <laughs> Blade is too hardcore for school. And we get the same gun that Barry has. Yep. Neatly. The Silver Serpent. Yep. How do you get the samurai edge again? Beat the game under five hours. Well, that's doable. Yeah, that's doable. I did it as Chris. And it unlocks for both characters. Really? Yes. Interesting. How do you get it? You just start off with it? Yeah, you start off with it. Well, Jill does. I don't know about nice, Barry. Very nice. You and Chris? Yeah. I always wanted a Barry mode in this game. <laughs> that would have been awesome, actually. See behind the scenes? Mm hmm. Barry and Wesker just trolling the shit out of well, us. Well, knowing Capcom, it would have been just. It would have been DLC. No, no. <laughs> DLC before DLC. I'm thinking of Capcom back then. It would just been Barry playing through the regular part of the game. Well, just a Barry skin. Yeah, just a Barry skin for Chris, basically. Maybe change his stats up slightly. That would have been cool, though. I went the long way. G give him the Barry sandwich <laughs> move from RE5 <laughs> Mercenaries Reunion. That little pop? That little pop. <laughs> no, the Barry sandwich was the elbow drop. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> What was the other thing? Though? I, I yeah, they had a headbutt, didn't they? Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. that was sick. It gave you like five seconds. Yeah, it was broken. And then, and then it used up the five seconds by watching the complete animation go through. <laughs> nah, me and my friend, me and my friend, we uh, got like a shit ton of points because I just spammed that. I'd shoot them in the head, headbutt, head, shoot head, headbutt. And while he just... I will say, Mercenaries mode was really fun. Yeah. But, but around the time of RE6, it really became bland. God, RE6 fucked it up. Because, uh, you know, we've already done it before. They could have made it interesting. The funnest I had in Mercenaries was 4. 5 was pretty entertaining at times. I thought you were going to say, you know, playing as Jake. Jake Mueller, that's his name. Oh, I was talking about Resident Evil with somebody today, and I couldn't remember Jake's last name for anything. Oh, he's, he's a very meh character, you know? I'm going to save here. Oh yeah, we have to. She's here. Are you gonna? Do you know if you go by the window, you can see her approaching? Oh really? Yeah. Uh, you any time actually, just as long as you don't walk out. That's scary. Yeah, hold on, just save or yes. go ahead, look at the window if you want. I'll save there. first. All right. Yeah, you never thought to go look over there. I was like, man, this place is kind of creepy. I better get out of here. There's dust on this bed. <clears throat> it's kind of creppy. Alright, come on. Come on, PS3. Alright, we're good. <laughs> I'm signed on to Resident Evil Dinette, don't you know? I, I just completely skipped that, because fuck that. There you go. Oh, that's scary, dude. <laughs> Too spooky, man. Too spooky, 87. Let's put up those ink ribbons. Who needs them, right? Let's go get knocked the fuck out. Clonk! <laughs> <laughs> I love that the animation is the same animation that they use for Leon in RE4. Yep. And just like, what the hell happened? So, 
Lisa kind of just dragged her down to the fireplace yeah. to keep the body warm. Yeah. Didn't do anything to it. Wait till we wake up. Yeah. She was just like, this is going to be so scary for her. <laughs> <laughs> so I really don't know how to get out of here without escaping. Oh. I hit, you know? Uh, I think going left would have been <laughs> a better solution than that, uh, in that said situation. But then again, she could have done the one where she swings up. And that would have caught you anyway. I've seen it to the point where you can get hit while she can hit you from behind. Yeah. That's how long her arms are. The hitboxes in this game are a little wonky. Yeah. Well, and anyway, it's the next screen that there's We're going to have to continue our, our adventures in the next part. Oh, great. You activated him. Uh, I activated him. Yeah. <laughs> you caused me to stop, you loser. It felt like you didn't get away. Well, anyway. Now Until that next time. Now that we're safely away. Hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. We'll see you next time. Bounce.